a real quick video on how to create a bootable Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a USB device. So first thing you want to do is download Windows, Windows 10 or Windows 11, type it into Google, click the Microsoft link and select download Windows 11 or Windows 10 if you're downloading that. Click download. It'll ask you to choose a language, select the product language. I'm using English International. You may need French. If, if you need any other language other than English International, uh, you will have to edit these steps very slightly, but I'll talk you through them. So I'm using English International. So click confirm and then you'll be able to download it in either 32 bit or 64 bit. So download the one that you need and then we'll open terminal. Just like that. And what we're going to do is make sure your USB device is plugged in to your Mac. And we're going to copy this 3A. I'll put all these commands in the video description for you. So command and V and enter. So what we're looking for is we're looking for our USB stick. So I know this one's mine. I've got a 64 gigabyte USB stick and this is showing 62 gig. It also says external physical. So the thing that we need to look for is the identifier. So this is disk four. Yours may say disk three, may say disk two, uh, may say disk five. You want to make a note of what yours says for the next step. So we're going to copy this one and we're going to paste. And then we're going to press the right arrow key and where it says disk X, we want to do backspace and we want to put disk four for my case. So disk four is here, disk four. If yours says disk three here, you want to put disk three. If yours says disk two, you want to put disk two. Also, you can change the uh, USB name. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna format our USB stick call it windows 10 if you want to change it from windows 10 you can however this will alter a couple of steps so i'm going to leave it as it is and press enter and this will format our usb device so finish the erase on disk 4 and it's called it windows 10 so we're going to now what we're going to do is we're going to mount our windows iso file and then on step 3c we want to make sure that this part of this command here matches exactly this here so this would only change if you downloaded anything other than english international so if you downloaded the french language this would say F R F R. So what you need to do is you need to change this to F R F R. So it ma so this name here, you want that to match exactly there. However, mine says E N G B. So I'll leave it to that. And if you did change your USB device name, say volumes slash windows 10 so if you changed it to windows 11 you'd put windows 11 however my usb device is called windows 10 so i'm going to leave it windows 10 so we will copy this and paste this will take a, a minute or two okie dokie now that is finished so we will move on to the next step the next step is to install homebrew so Go on to Google, Homebrew Mac, click that link there. I'll put this command in the description, which is also step 3D there. Uh, so you want a website like this and you can click copy and we want to paste this down here. It'll ask you for your password, which you can type in and then press enter. It says this script will install the following, press enter and let that install it take a minute or two okay that is that's now finished we've installed homebrew 
So very important. This is very easily missed. You you will get some instructions. Next steps. Run these three commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. You may get two commands. You may get three. So what you want to do is just copy these and paste. Press enter. Copy. And the last one. Paste. So now we've done that, we can move on to step 3E. So we're going to copy that and paste. This will install Wimlib and this will take a minute. And once this is done, we can move on to the next step. So we can copy this code ready. Again, just like on the previous step above, you want to make sure if you downloaded the French version, you want to change this to FRFR. Also, if you change your USB device name to anything other than Windows 10, you want to make sure it matches perfectly here as well. So, now that that's finished, we can copy this, go down and paste. So that's now splitting the WIM file. And once this is done, the Windows bootable will be finished and you can eject the USB and use it as required.